and welcome back to the channel. So I'm supposed to be telling you right now about how I am officially kicking off the summer birding series with this video, but instead I want to tell you about what just happened. So I was on the way from my car to this boardwalk to film this clip when I see a yellow-billed cuckoo fly by. And I, I wasn't even ready to start filming, I wasn't even ready to take pictures of birds yet, but I had my camera in hand and I did manage to get a quick shot before it vanished into the ether. And let me just say, if that is the kind of good luck I'm gonna have when kicking off this series, before even starting to film this series, I'm feeling pretty good things about the summer birding series. So anyway, speaking of which, what is the point of this summer birding series? So unlike the migration series where we sort of, it's really windy, it's just really windy. One would say maybe that uh, recording this clip has been uh, a breeze, getting a little winded from all of the takes I've had to do of this clip. I hope I don't blow it. Okay, so anyways, unlike the migration series, I wanna spend a little less time trying to capture as many migrating birds as possible and a little more time just going with the summer vibes. I say we just go out, do some birding, see what we see, and maybe I can teach you a little bit about birds and bird photography along the way. And uh, we'll probably run the series from now until somewhere in August. That was that too much? That was probably too much. All right, well, let's just go do some birding. So I couldn't come out early this morning because it was raining. But it's nice and overcast, and honestly, I don't mind coming out on days like this because it's nice and breezy, and there's this nice, even, diffused light that uh, sort of makes for some pretty nice photos. Like normally midday, the light's pretty harsh, and you can get some really uh, contrasty shadows on the birds' faces, and uh, you just don't get that with the with the overcast. Uh, it's, uh, it's not too bad, it's like uh, overcast but bright. And there's this nice, soft, diffused light all over the marsh. So, not complaining. So I don't know if you could tell, but a few things have changed since the last time I saw you a minute ago. The first one is my location. It's actually a week later, and I'm out camping with my family and having a really great time. The second thing that's different is the light. And when I was thinking about what this video's theme might be, it dawned on me, the light this weekend is completely different than last week at the boardwalk. Today, it is cloudless, and sunny and beautiful and very different. And my strategy for birding today was very different. So I thought maybe we could talk about that. But first, let's talk a little bit about bird behavior. Birds are the most active in the hour and a half after sunrise and in the hour and a half before sunset. So if you wanna play the odds and maximize your chances of seeing birds on any given day, go out 
at those two times and you'll have your best chance of seeing a bird. You will also get the added benefit of some delicious golden light if you do. So on a day like this, it's a no-brainer that you'd want to target the early morning or the late evening. So this morning I got up right after sunrise and I started looking for a habitat where I knew it was likely that I'd see birds. And I factored in where the light would be and kind of camped out and I just hoped that something would show up. So it's uh, really windy out here again. I'm, uh, I'm having a blast though. Too much. That evening, our campsite was battered by high winds and strong gusts that persisted throughout the night. In the morning, I woke up to a third kind of light. And this time it was the kind that as a bird photographer, I don't really like. It was dark and cloudy. At the boardwalk, when the light was bright and overcast, my strategy was to take advantage of the diffused light and the extended shooting hours. At camp, my strategy was to use golden hour to create warm, beautiful images with nice catch lights in the eyes. This morning, with dark clouds, strong winds, and birds taking refuge from the conditions, I devised a different strategy. Today, I was going to know when to put my camera down and heat up a nice warm cup of coffee instead. Cheers, everyone. See you in the next one.